Now for this next part, we're told to find the coordinates of the points on this curve C where dy by dx equals zero. And there's going to be four of them. As you can see, the gradient is zero at this point, this point, this point, and this point. So we expect four solutions. Now in the previous part, we found out what dy by dx was. So when dy by dx equals zero, it means that in the case of a fraction, it must be that the top of the fraction, the numerator, must equal zero. Because if we put this equal to zero and times both sides by the denominator, we just have minus three sine two t equals zero. So that's where I'm going to start. Therefore, minus three sine two t must equal zero. Now, if I divide through by minus 3, it means that therefore sine 2t would equal 0. And to solve this, we just take the inverse sine to both sides. So 2t would equal the inverse sine of 0. Now we should be familiar with uh, the solutions that give us 0. We could take, for instance, the sine graph. Okay, let's just do something like this. Suppose we've got the graph of y equals sine t, then we would expect it to start from the origin, rise to 1, cuts again here at what would normally be 180 degrees, which is pi radians, bottoms out at 270 degrees, 3 pi upon 2 radians, and back here at 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians. So we need to get our solutions then. So for sine 2t equaling 0, it would mean that 2t, let's just come down here, 2t would be equal to 0, this point here. At this point, this is at pi radians. And then we've got this point here, which is at 2 pi radians. So we've got 2 pi. Now we've got to be careful here because I said that there was going to be four solutions. And at the moment it's only suggesting that we're going to have three solutions here. But you can see from the range here that t has to lie between naught and 2 pi. It can include naught, so we've got the naught here. But remember we're dealing with 2t and we're going to be looking at t in a moment by dividing all these values by 2, giving us naught, pi over 2, and pi. But for this fourth value, what we've got to do is imagine this graph going on further, like so, and so the next time it's going to equal 0 will be at 3 pi. So we've got another solution up here when 2t equals 3 pi, the sine of 3 pi would give us 0. And so when I divide th through by 2 here, we get t equals 3 pi upon 2, which is in range. So there's my four values now of t, and all we need to do to get the coordinates of these points here, these stationary points if you like, is just substitute our values for 0 pi upon 2, pi and 3 pi upon 2, into these two equations to get x and y. So we find that when t equals 0, if we just substitute this into here, we get x equals 4 times the sine of pi upon 6. 4 sine pi upon 6. And what does that come to? Well, the sine of pi upon 6 is a half, and so 4 times a half is 2. So x is 2. Similarly, we can work out what we get for y. y equals 3 cos of 0. So 3 cos of 0. The cosine of 0 is 1, so you get 3. So we've got a coordinate here, 2, 3. And that's got to be this one here, 2, 3. Now, you can expect by symmetry of the curve this one to be at minus 2, 3. In fact, it is minus 2, 3. I'll leave it to you to check out. This occurs when t equals pi. So when we come down here, when t equals pi, 
x turns out to be minus 2 and y turns out to be 3. But as I say, I'll leave it up to you just to check that out through there. When t equals pi upon 2, we get the or one of the values at the bottom here. When t equals pi upon 2, if you substitute this into here, you find that x comes out at 2 root 3. And again, I'm going to leave that for you to check out. And y turns out to be equal to minus 3. So clearly, that is this point over here. 2 root 3, comma, minus 3. OK? And no surprises, because of the symmetry, this point over here is minus 2 root 3 and minus 3 for the y coordinate. And you get that when t equals 3 pi upon 2. When t equals 3 pi upon 2, x turns out to be minus 2 root 3 and y turns out to be equal to minus 3. OK, so... Uh, Hopefully that gives you an idea, and do check these, okay? So uh, there you go. That's how I would certainly do that question.